With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Question is, in a region of space, the electric field is in the x direction and proportional to x, that is e vector equal to e naught x i cap, consider an imaginary cubical volume of h a with its, let's say, a plane parallel to the axis of coordinates. The charge inside this volume will be, so here this is our cube, electric field along the x-axis of the magnitude given here as e naught into x and we can say here that we need to find here the charge inside this volume now the q has h a and here all its plane are parallel to the coordinate axis as can be seen from the diagram so we can say here that we need to find the charge so applying gauss law that is net flux through this Imaginary, let's say Gaussian surface given as surface integral of electric field is equal to Q enclosed divided by epsilon naught. Now, here the charge enclosed will be equal to, let's say, equal to net flux into epsilon naught. So, to find net flux, we can see here that the number of lines of force, let's say, crossing here from the left hand side to the right hand side as electric flux is given as e dot ds and area vector is always perpendicular to the surface and outwards. So here the area vector direction of these six faces are as shown always perpendicular to the surface and away that is here we can see this is also area vector will be our downwards and here for the let's say front and the back surface also we have area vector as let's say along plus z axis and minus z axis so we can say here only the area vector along plus x axis and minus x axis contribute to the flux as all the other area that is along y axis minus y axis z axis and minus z axis make an angle of 90 degree with the electric field so e dot ds part becomes 0 and e ds cos 90 value equal to 0 so the front surface and back surface here will contribute to the electric flux now here at the let's say front surface electric field magnitude here will be as e naught into a as the coordinate of this point is a comma zero comma zero and here we have here area a1 of this front surface as a square into i cap and we can say here the electric field at this area a1 here is our let's say e naught into a as x value is equal to a for this surface so this becomes our our e naught into we can say here this is a so e naught into a and area 1 is equal to a square i cap now similarly for the back surface area a2 magnitude will be a square and direction is minus x axis as minus i cap and electric field here at origin here can be written as 0 since x coordinate of this point is 0 comma 0 comma 0 so x coordinate is 0 so electric field at this point is 0 and all other four faces make an angle of 90 degree so the only face contributing to the flux is a1 area so we can apply here Gauss law only this face contributes to the flux so this becomes our e naught into a into a square so e naught into a into we can say here a square and angle is 0 degree so cos 0 is equal to we have here as q enclosed that is the net charge enclosed being asked in the question divided by epsilon naught so we can say here this is all a constant value so q enclosed value here will be equal to e naught into a q into epsilon naught as cos 0 is 1 so this is the total charge enclosed by this cubical volume which is our answer for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today